Hey everybody, it's Mike, aka That Reseller Guy. It's Monday and I have a ton of sales to go over with you. So this video may run a little bit longer than normal, so please stay tuned, stay through the whole thing. If you get tired, take a break in the middle, go have a sandwich and a drink and come back and watch the second half. As usual, we're gonna do our drawing uh, for the giveaway and we're also gonna give another item away at the end, so you'll have to stay tuned for the keyword of that. The item we're giving away later in the video is the Alien uh, trading card set from Upper Deck. You all had over the weekend to go through and get your uh, entries in on that, and there's really not too many, so your odds are gonna be pretty good. Uh, but let's get to those sales. Uh, first, we're gonna cut away. We're gonna show you what I sold on Amazon over the weekend. I actually shipped those out yesterday, so I did a little clip from that. Uh, let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back. All right, it's Sunday, so I'm gonna film this little piece here today. Just go over some of these items that I sold on Amazon, fulfilled by a merchant. I'm gonna get these boxed up and ready to go on Sunday. So I'm filming this early. I'll show it to you tomorrow, Monday, whatever. And uh, yeah, here's what I sold. I didn't even know I had this item in my inventory. Uh, when it came when it came up, I had to go hunting around because I'm like, what the heck is that? I have an inflatable pool? I do. Yeah, uh, so this is just a little standard little inflatable pool here. Yeah, but it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. I'm sure I only paid a couple bucks for it. Like I said, I don't even remember picking this one up. The next item is this Cranium Super Showdown game. These weren't worth a whole lot, so it never got sent in to uh, Amazon FBA. Uh, it was held behind here. And what am I getting for this? $19.90 plus shipping. It is gonna have to go priority. You know, it is gonna cost me 10 bucks to ship out. Uh, but at least they you know, finally sold this game. The last item is another one of these. I sold uh, one of these, I think, right at the beginning area of the lockdown. So it's been a month or so. Mystery Mansion game. Yeah, this is a fantastic game. If you can find them, it's got a lot of pieces. See see if I can show you the picture on the back. You see this? It's got this whole playset. You got to find all these pieces in here. There is a checklist that works pretty good. Uh, once you've gone through one of these before and gone through the, the piece checklist, it's pretty easy to figure out. I was really lucky this was 100% complete. It wasn't missing a single piece and it has this little game control center. Put a couple batteries in there and it worked just fine. So again, to find this game complete in the box and again, I know I only paid a little bit for it. This ended up going for $79.99 plus shipping. Uh, it is a really big box and you gotta do either some Franken boxing on it or uh, maybe a large chewy box one of those type like that. Luckily for me, it's only going up to North Dakota, so it's not going too far and uh, shouldn't cost me more than 10 to maybe 15 bucks to send out. Okay, unless I have another FBM order before uh, I do my video tomorrow, that's what I had for Amazon. So I had an $80 sale, a $30 sale, and a $20 sale plus shipping. So that's not too bad over the weekend considering I have very little on Amazon right now. My Amazon inventory, it's its running pretty low as far as what I have here. I, I haven't been showing what's selling FBA. I am still selling items there. They've actually cleared up my queue pretty good and they're all caught up other than what has sold over the last few days. I think I have five or six items in there right now, probably for a couple hundred bucks total. But yeah, for this weekend, it was, I don't know if it was a record weekend. It might be a record for total number of items sold. I had a total of 38 sales, which included 44 total items eBay, $1,881.60. Now that does have all the tax included, so my total is a little bit less. So if you combine that with what I did on Amazon, that's right around $2,000 for a weekend, which happens once or twice a year for me, maybe three times if I'm lucky. But to have a $2,000 weekend, I'm ecstatic with how sales were. The cha-ching was going crazy on my phone all weekend long. I'm gonna go over the sports card stuff with you first. Again, I, I'm gonna sort of cut away. I filmed that first and I've already packed those all up so they're ready to go. So I can go over this stuff in a little bit more in depth. I think you can see from my desk here, I sold a lot this weekend so much that normally just this area gets filled up, but look, I had to go all the way over here, wrap all the way around my desk. I got stuff there, stuff down there, and yeah, it's all over the place. So uh, I'm gonna show you the card stuff real quick and uh, you know, we won't go over it in too much depth here, uh, but just show you, look, so the Mike Piazza card, uh, I think this one went for $8.99. I ran a 10% off sale, so it was like a dollar off. So I believe this one was $8.99 shipped. Here's another one. Uh, this one, somebody sent me an offer for $2 less than what I was asking, so it sold for $10 shipped. 
Uh, we'll go up here to these lots here. I had one person buy one, two, three, four, and five football card lots. I think these ones were each $30 and that one in the back was a little more. Uh, I'll pop it up so you can see what his exact total was. Uh, I didn't give him any discount on these. He asked if I could do a little better, but since these lots have been selling so quick, all I said is I take care of them on the shipping. I combined it, made it $15 total shipping where it was asking for 50 because uh, I had $10 per lot on here. So I made him that deal. Uh, another buyer bought one to three lots of cards. This one was $49.99 plus each of these was $29.99. And I believe I did the same thing for him. I think I did $15 shipping on those as well. I sold this stack of football cards. This was a special edition version of these cards. Uh, I don't remember the exact price. I think it was either $20 or $29.99. Either way, it'll be right there in the box. Sold this lot of Michael Jordan cards. Uh, some of these were, were decent cards in here, but nothing too great. I sold them for about a dollar card. The, uh, I think there was like 30 some cards in here and it went for $29.99 plus shipping. Here's a lot of Shaquille O'Neal insert cards. Uh, again, I don't remember the exact count. I think it was like 32 cards or something like that but it ended up going for 11 i think 11.69 plus five dollars for shipping and it must have been part of my 10 uh, off sale this was a lot of tim duncan cards again these were fairly cheap as well i think there was like 75 cards in this one uh i added five dollars for shipping again i don't remember the exact price it'll be in the pop-up up here something like ten dollars eight dollars something like that then we got to go over the hill here we had another one of these fleer basketball card sets that one right there, that had the sticker set with it, so it went for $29.99 plus shipping. And then this blue stack down here, this was another lot of cards. Actually, I just reduced the price on that. Uh, I think it went for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, I'm gonna get all that stuff boxed up, then we're gonna come back and go over these. So as you can tell, those cards were a pretty big part of the weekend, several hundred dollars worth, and like I said, I already got those all boxes ship out, ship out. Let's get going on all the stuff back here. Again, uh, I sold a ton, 38 sales. I think I still have like 28 or 29 that I still got to box up uh, and get to the post office. It's a little bit after noon right now when I'm doing this. So it's taken me a while to get this all pulled in here and do all that. And I'm kind of rambling. So let me show you what sold. First off, I sold uh, one of these last programmable controllers. I'm not gonna say the brand count because I always mispronounce it. So. Uh, I sold my last one of these. I picked these up for 10 bucks a piece and it sold for $39.99 shipped. Got a few comic books over here. This one's called Atlas. This had like four different variants on the cover. So I just bundled these all together and I did have it out there, I think for $11.99. I ran a 10% off sale on about a quarter of my store, which resulted in a fairly good turnout. This was one of the items that sold. It went for $10.80 shipped. It still will go first class and probably cost me like $4.50 to send out. Next item is the Super Bowl hat. This is a vintage NFL game day hat made by Twins Enterprises. Uh, Rams versus Titans. It was a great Super Bowl. Uh, again, hat's brand new with tags. It's been in my store a little while. And I can't remember if I had shipping on it, but it went for $19.99. Uh, whether I had shipping or not, it'll be in the pop-up. So yeah, 20 bucks for this hat. Next is an autographed baseball. This is Jerome Walton. He was popular with the Cubs in the late 80s, early 90s. I think he even run one Rookie of the Year. It was actually a pretty nice autograph uh, on a nice vintage baseball. Uh, this one sold for $14.99 shipped. Had a pack of four small little Lego Friends sets. So I kind of bagged each one individually. And like I said, they're fairly small sets. Two of them had the instructions, two didn't. Originally had it at $29.99, I think free shipping in my store. Uh, somebody sent me an offer for $22, so I took it. Sold a cheap hockey puck. This is from the East Coast Hockey League. It's a minor league team. This is from their All-Star game. Had a couple of them, not worth a whole lot, but this went for $9.99. Shipped, I just put this into a padded mailer and it ships out probably for like $3.50. The next item is this Power Rangers movie poster. So this is an original movie poster. I can't remember the year from the 90s i'm sure it has the information up on the little pop-up here i bought a bulk lot of a hundred of these uh i think i paid about 20 bucks for the total lot so don't have too much into these like i said i, I have a hundred of them this is actually the first one to sell it went for 9.99 plus another four dollars for shipping now with this i will just roll it up and ship it into a mailing tube i have this tube here what i'll do is i'll cut it in the middle 
I'll roll it up and then it'll fit in here and I'll just plug up the end and then I'll have another roll that I can use for the next time I sell one. The next item is this Disney, actually this is Disneyland Resort scrapbooking kit. You see, it's got a bunch of different frames and cutouts and all kinds of different stuff. Picked up a bunch of Disney stuff, uh, mainly scrapbooking items several months back. Sold a couple of these before. I paid a dollar for these and it went for $17.99 shipped. Sold another one of these uh, All-Star Game baseballs that I picked up last week. I think this is the third one to sell already. This one is from 2002. I think it was in Milwaukee. This was probably the best one of all those baseballs that I picked up. It ended up selling for $32.39. And yeah, it was part of the 10% off. So I think I originally had it at $35. The next item, it's a Phoenix Suns jersey. But this is Marcin Gortat. Yeah, not a real popular player here. But uh, I'm sure he had a pretty good following over in Europe where he was from. This jersey is autographed. You can see it right there. I didn't get it authenticated. Uh, again, I compared it versus some of his other certified ones. I'm confident that it is good. And I always guarantee autographs that I sell if I don't have them authenticated. So yeah, for some reason, this were to not pass somebody's, I would refund their money. But this is actually going GSP. It's going GSP over to, I believe it's... Uh, England. Yeah, this is going GSP over to England. And this ended up selling for $49.99 plus another $4.99 shipping. I'll just throw it in a poly bag, ship it to Kentucky. They'll box it up for the international shipment. It was kind of odd with everything that sold this weekend. Two autographed jerseys sold back to back within the same hour, I think on Saturday. This one is a BYU Cougars. You see it's a football jersey. And on the back, it's autographed by Andy Reid, who is now the head coach of the Kansas City Chiefs. So yeah, after them winning the Super Bowl, his stuff has definitely gone up in value a little bit. He played football at BYU. That's why this jersey signed. I picked it up for, I think it was 3 or $4. The store I got it at, I think originally had it at like 10 or 15 in their showcase. And I don't think anybody really looked at it. They priced it down, put it out on the shelf, and that's where I saw it. So yeah, like I said, I bought this for next to nothing. I think I had it for $79.99 or best offer. And they sent me an offer of 60 bucks, and I took it. So yeah, 60 bucks shipped for this jersey. Okay, I kept a couple of the sports card items to talk a little bit more uh, in depth about. This here, I kind of got these done up. These are Kobe Bryant rookie year cards. Let me put it up a little closer here so you can see it. There, get out of the glare. But what you see is it's kind of cut a little weird. These cards were actually inside the Sports Illustrated for Kids magazine back in 2003. I had bought a bunch of these a while back. I think I had 15 total magazines and I had them in my store for just 10 bucks a piece. Uh, through, through like the year or so that they were in my store, I only sold one of them. And that was a ship price. So yeah, I was probably netting $3 maybe after fees and shipping. So what I decided to do over the weekend, I took all these cards and I cut them all out. 14 of them, you can see in my picture here, I laid them all out and it sold within an hour of me putting it out there. So yeah, 14 of these LeBron James cards uh, went for $49.99 free shipping. The next thing is this Emprex little digital music player, little MP3, little two gigabyte one. I, I think I bought this for a dollar or two. I don't know if I'd pick them up again. Uh, it sold for $13.99 shipped and it took it several months to sell. So here's another item that's been in my store for a while and it had a lot of watchers on it. This is a Ken Griffey Jr. but it's senior. So it's Ken Griffey Jr.'s dad who played for the Cincinnati Reds for quite a while. It's autographed there on the front. It's not authenticated again. It's not an expensive helmet. It wasn't worth me spending $10 to get it authenticated. I wouldn't get that $10 back. So just selling it as it is, guaranteed the signature, had it in my store for $29.99 free shipping. With that 10% off, it sold for $26.99. Next, I sold a few of these Lego base plates. I put these in pairs of two because they were each lot was exactly the same. You got one of these kind of T roads and one of these little center intersections. I didn't know too much about this version of this plate. I had to look it up and do the research on eBay. It was called Lego Blacktron. I don't know what set that's from, but saw that these two plates were selling pretty good in pairs. So yeah, uh, the first one sold for $24.99 shipped and that sold on Friday. I think it was Friday night that I went and put the sale out there. So yeah, the second one sold for $22.49 each of them were plus $9.99 shipping. All right, I sold two boxes of baseballs. Now these are both different. These are all Major League Baseballs, but this lot here is the cheaper version. This one sold for, I, I did have it at 10% off. So it went for $44.99. I originally had them at 
$49.99. And this one wasn't on sale. This one went for $79.99. This is the nice cleaner version. I'll put up the two different pop-ups. You can see the difference in quality between these and these. And that's why I can get a lot more for this quality or this condition ball. I only have one dozen of these left. So these have been selling much quicker. Uh, but yeah, $44.99 plus 10 bucks for shipping and $79.99 plus 10 bucks for shipping. So two more of these Dell 1971 booklets. Again, these have little sticker cards inside that you can cut out and collect. This one's the Yankees and that one's the Oakland A's. Sold separately to different buyers. Yankees went for $13.49 on sale, originally $14.99. And same with the Oakland A's, same price, $13.49. All right, I was glad to see these sell. I picked these up for $3 at a, at a thrift store. And I thought they might take forever to sell, but it really wasn't too bad. I think it was in my store three months, maybe six months tops, but it's such a unique item. This is a set of bongo drums that you use on like a plastic playground set. There was only one of them listed and it was out of the country. So yeah, as far as I know, I had at least the only one on eBay. So they did sell uh, via my 10% off sale. Originally had them at $49.99 and ended up selling for $44.99 shipped. Here's a little stack of smaller Lego base plates. I think these are all from like the Friends series because you got like the blues and the pinks and a lot of the beige goes to the, the Friends as well. And it went through the sale at $17.99 shipped. This is nice. It'll fit into a small little box and ship out maybe for $3.50. All right, now let's talk about the biggest sale that I had this weekend. Yeah, not a shocker for me anyways. It was Michael Jordan. Uh, yeah, this is a Michael Jordan. This is his third year card. Uh, it's agreed at a PSA 9. Now, I bought a couple of these a while back. I kind of had a feeling that some of these Michael Jordans were going to be going up in value, and this was one that I could afford. So I bought this one and that one. I've got two of them that are both graded PSA 9s. You can even see my little sheet on the back. I paid $105 for that one. This one I got my little sheet. I paid 90 bucks for that one. Now when I bought them, I didn't realize they were gonna go up as fast as they did. Uh, there was no reason for me to hope that they're gonna go up even more. I think this is about the top of the range that this card will get. So I threw it out there at the high, high end of what they've been selling at. It sold for $319.99 plus another five bucks for shipping. Now, when I ship out a card like this, I will kind of put this into a bubble mailer and then put that into a rigid mailer, kind of double up the protection. Uh, and I do send them signature confirmation, yeah. This is an item that I thought never thought would sell because the sell-through rate on them was not very good. Had it sitting around for several months before I listed it. Actually, I listed it last week. So this one ended up selling pretty quick for me. I have it higher than most people did. These were selling for like 10 to 12, maybe 15 bucks plus shipping. I put mine at 19.99 plus shipping. And yeah, it sold, 30 bucks shipped. So these two PS2 controllers, these are wired controllers. These took quite a while to sell. I figured with all the craziness with video games going on that these would sell quicker. Uh, but hey, they did finally sell. Have literally nothing into these. The, the games that I sold out of this purchase netted me hundreds of dollars in profit. So this is just all icing on the top. Uh, these went for $29.99 shipped. And it's actually going to somebody here in state in Arizona. Next up is this helmet. This is a cycling helmet and it comes in this protective case. If you've watched a lot of my videos, you see me sell one of these other ones. It probably could have been three to six months ago. I don't remember exactly. But this one is really cool. This one I think is brand new without tags. I don't know if it comes across through the camera here, but this thing is shiny and clean and mint. And it's in the United States Postal Service racing colors, which was very popular during the Lance Armstrong years. So yeah, I had this price really high. I think I originally had it at 300 or $350, something really high. After a while, I priced it down to 250. Somebody sent me an offer over the weekend of $149.99 shipped. They're over in California, so it's not gonna cost me but 10 bucks probably to send it over there. Sold another one of these tailor-made burner towels. Instead of showing it like this in the picture, I just showed the back of this card here. That way you can see what the full towel looks like. Uh, I picked these up for like $2.50 each. It sold for $15.95. And I can just put this into a poly mailer and ship it out for like four bucks. And we're finally to the last item here. It's this stack of six Ever After High books. This is 
books one through six of a series. This set of six ended up going for $27.99 shipped. They will ship out media mail, which will probably cost me like, I don't know, four bucks maybe? So yeah, eBay was $18.81 and change. Amazon, $100 plus. I'm calling it a 2K weekend. Okay, so now let's get to that drawing. We're doing the drawing for the Aliens or Alien movie card set from Upper Deck. Uh, your odds are pretty good, so let's slide over and go do the drawing. All right, guys, I kind of screwed this up. I thought I was recording and I did this whole thing and my re record was not going. So look, there was the URL. There was the number of commenters there. And I actually did the drawing already. Uh, I'm sorry you don't get to see it live, but Sean, I know you're going to be excited to see this. So Sean, yeah, you've been one of the top commenters uh, through all my videos. Uh, so I'm happy to see you win. And uh, yeah, may you and everybody out there stay safe and healthy. And Sean, go down to the description. My email address is down there. Send me your mailing info and I'll get this set out to you. So congrats on winning. And now let's show what we're going to do for the next drawing. We're going to finish out this week of drawings all the way through Friday. And then, then we'll see what we're going to do from there. So yeah, I'll be talking about it this, this week in every video. On Friday, I'm going to do another list of, of five, what I'm going to call wholesale lots again. Uh, last week, I only gave you a couple hours notice. So I think a few people didn't have a chance to go and do it. I'm going to start doing that on Fridays. Fridays at 5 p.m. Arizona time. I will put out five what I call wholesale lots. I'm not sure if I'm going to talk about what's in the lots yet or if you just have to go to my eBay store to find out. The link is always down in the description. I'll be talking about that all week just to let you know. Again, you don't have to make a comment or anything. Just Friday, 5 p.m. There's going to be five good discount lots in there. Now for today's drawing. I think y'all liked it when I did the Pokemon card. So I'm going to do five more Pokemon for foil cards. Each of these have the hologram foil here or the entire card is a big hologram. So put down in the description, uh, Pokemon. Yeah. Put Pokemon down there. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks y'all for watching. I know this was a longer one, so thanks for hanging in there. I'll see you next time.